Hi and welcome to the Thrunet channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of an educational video for people who might be newer to flashlights. And we're going to be discussing the difference between throw and flood. Okay, so what I did was I grabbed two representatives from each group. This one here is the Thrunite TN42V2, and this is representing throw. This is a dedicated throw monster, as some people would call it, because it is so capable of projecting light out to distance. And then next to it here, we have a Olight Warrior X Turbo. This is going to represent throw as well from another company. And then on the right here, we have two lights that are more dedicated for flood or an area light. First, we have the Thrunite T2. And next to it, we have the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. All right. So before I really get into the specifics on some of these lights, let me go ahead and move these out of the way. All right, so I grabbed some paper here as well as a marker. So this way we have a little bit of a visual representation of what's going on here. All right, so on the left here, we have flood. And on the right, we have throw. All right, so these are just going to be kind of a crude drawing of a flashlight. All right, obviously we know flashlights come in all different shapes and sizes. This has a very large head compared to the body. All right, if we look at the T2, and this is the same size all the way throughout. But this is just representing the difference here, okay? So when you have throw, which you usually have, not always, but you usually have a very smooth, deep reflector. And what that does is it allows all the light to be concentrated and be throwing out in the, in the same direction, almost like a very narrow beam, okay? So the purpose of throw is to have as much distance as possible. So you're projecting all that light into a very tight beam as far as possible, okay? The difference with flood is that this is a very wide beam, okay? So you have a reflector that's normally very heavily textured inside. And what the texturing doing is it's allowing the light to bounce around in every which direction. So instead of focusing it for a, a long, um, very, very tight beam, instead you have light bouncing every, every which way. So what that allows the flashlight to do is perform uh, almost like a wall of light. So it's allowing a lot of light right in front of you. It's not trying to project it out for distance. It's actually trying to give as much wide beam as possible. Okay, so... With throw, we have a very focused beam. Oftentimes this might even be angled, okay? So you have more distance here. And again, flood is the opposite. So if we take a look at these lights, all right? First off, again, this through night is a monster light. Um, again, kind of a dedicated uh, light for throw or distance. Again, this is the TN42 V2. And if you look down in here in the reflector, we can see not only do we have a very smooth reflector, in this case, it's huge. It's physically very large, but it's also very deep. All right, so we have this big cone shape. Now, same thing with the Olight Warrior X Turbo. We can see we have a larger head. It's a deeper uh, head as well. So we have a deep, extremely smooth, polished reflector. All right, again, that's focusing all that light in a very tight beam, so it will go as far as possible. Now, in comparison, if you look at the Thrunite T2, we could see in this case, we have a very heavily stippled reflector, or lots of texture, and that texture is allowing all that light to bounce around in every direction, okay? And if you also notice, it's also very shallow or short, all right? And last up here, we have the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. In this particular case, it's a multi-LED light, but it's performing the same thing. We have a very shallow reflector. It's not trying to concentrate that light. It's basically just throwing out in every which direction, right, for a wall of light. So what we're going to do is we're going to head outside and we'll give you uh, beam shots of all four of these lights so you can kind of see the difference. So just keep in mind the major difference. We have a tight beam that goes a very far distance with the throwers and the lights that are more dedicated for flood is more of a wall of light. Okay, so it's very, very wide beam, but also very shallow. Okay, so all that light is being dispersed right in front of you in every which direction. All right, so I'm outside going to give you guys a demo. I'm doing this purposely with a little bit of light out. Right now the sun's gone down, it's just starting to get dark. Uh, the purpose of this is just to show you the actual uh, surroundings as we you know, give the different examples on these lights. All right, this way you can get a better feel for the distance. But first up here is the Thrunite TN42 V2. All right, so put this on the ground here. Now because this has so much actual output, you can see naturally there's a lot of spill. So this center hot spot is where all the light's directed but the circle that's around it is just natural spill 
from all the uh, the power that this light has. So as I move this around, you can see it's lightly raining out. You can see the actual beam here that's coming down. All right. Now let me turn this up to the trees so I could show you that this is going to reach out for a very far distance. All right. So if I zoom in. You can see just how far this goes, but it's a very tight consolidated beam. All right, go all the way down into the trees. You back out. All right, kind of wave this around a little bit. So again, you can see that all that light is projected into one specific spot. All right, that is all throw. All right, so the next light here is the Olight Warrior X Turbo. So you can see how Again, this has a very tight beam. All right, go all the way up in the trees. This will really reach out very far. All right, but it is a tight beam here. If I come all the way back out and go down, you can see a similar effect, all right, where we have a super bright hot spot right in the middle, but then naturally you just have a little bit of spill. All right, but again, you can see as I move this around, the actual beam and all the light that is being concentrated there. All right, so again, this is another thrower. So now let's compare that to a light that has mostly flood. All right, this is the through night T2. All right, you put that on turbo. Now, if you notice, the entire area here is lit up, but there's no hot spot in the middle. All right, and that's because this is being bounced in every which direction. So we have a giant wall of light all right, when I put this up in the trees, you can see it's just kind of dimly lit all the way around, but there's not one specific spot where it's focused. All right, so this is all flood. In this case, we just have an entire area light. And here's another example of a light that's mostly flood. This is the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. Turn that on. All right, as I move this left and then right, again, you don't see a specific hot spot in the middle. It's just a whole area light. So we go up into the trees, and again, it's just more of a, a, a light that's closer to you. It doesn't have as much distance, but it does have a very wide beam. All right, so it lights up an entire area here. All right, so there you go. All right, so hopefully the uh, demo there really gave you a better understanding of the difference between flood and throw. Uh, one thing to note is when you're talking about flashlights across the board, most flashlights aren't dedicated to be extreme on one side or the other. These particular lights are meant for throw, okay? They were designed for throw. These ones are designed a little bit more for flood or an area light. However, most flashlights have some kind of combination between the two. So let's go ahead and grab another piece of paper so I can illustrate this to you. All right, so on this side we have flood, and then on this side we have throw. All right, so, when you have a flashlight, all flashlights have some combination. Either it's completely all flood, or it's completely all throw, or in most cases, when you have like a regular EDC light, it might be anywhere in between. It could be a nice combination right in the middle where it has a little bit of distance, a little bit of a focus beam, but also enough spill. There's another word or term you're gonna hear in the uh, flashlight community to have spill. That basically means the light that's around its center beam. So you can have any combination. You can have one that's heavily one-sided, all right? So it's mostly throw, it's over here, but it's not you know, completely meant just for throw. It still has some spill or some flood. And then vice versa, you can have a light more heavily on the flood side, where it has just a little bit of throw, but naturally has mostly that wall of light or flood. So again, the line of lights, it could be anywhere on this entire line, any combination of flood and throw. All flashlights have both. It's just some are designed specifically for one task over the other. The big deal with throw is usually you're going to see that on some kind of a searchlight, okay, where you're trying to get a lot of power. Generally speaking, uh, flashlights with, uh, that are dedicated for throw aren't usually very dim. They're, they're usually very powerful lights with lots of lumens and, and just a ton of energy, and it's being focused for distance, okay? Whereas, again, flood is a little bit more specific to short distance where you just want to see an entire large area for light, all right? So when you use a flashlight that has all flood, it's on this side, all right, um, it's gonna be poor at seeing a distance and vice versa. If you have a light that's all throw, 
you don't want to use that, you know, let's say indoors or very close to a wall or something because it's just going to concentrate all that light and it's probably going to bounce back and be counterproductive. It might be even harder to see if there's too much light. So yeah, every flashlight is somewhere on this chart. Could be heavily one-sided or the other, but most flashlights that you're going to see are somewhere in the middle. has a nice combination of flood and throw. All right, your common EDC type flashlights, you're going to see that center hot spot. That's what's allowing that light to throw out a little bit. But generally speaking, you're still going to have an area light. Okay, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. So there's so many awesome flashlights on the market, but they do offer different things. You know, I've had conversations with people and they're like, well, a flashlight's a flashlight. It's kind of like saying a gun's a gun or a car is a car. I mean, there's lots of different types and some are purposely built for a specific task. And flashlights are no different. You have ones that are dedicated for throw. You have ones that are more dedicated for flood. And then, of course, you have every combination thereof. So hopefully the video was helpful and educational. I thank you so much for watching. If you're not familiar, Through Night does free giveaways for products all the time, just like these flashlights here. And if you want to enter, all you have to do is comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.